What's going on guys? It's Zach here. Welcome to Blood Moon Paranormal if you've never been here before and welcome to Urban Haunts. This is a series where we talk about haunted places in a specific town or city depending on where we're at. Um, usually these towns have a lot of haunted places in them and that's why we go to them. Now the town we're in today is Elgin, Illinois and it's a lot like Aurora and Joliet in the sense that there's just a ton of haunted places here. They're, they're just similar in their own ways. You know, they, they, they just have similarities that I've noticed over time going between the three. So we're in Alta today and we're gonna be hitting five locations, talking about six. Um, as a little bonus, I am going to bring up one right now. Somewhere south of here is actually a road called Munger Road. If you've ever been there before, I'm sure you've turned down it before. It's just a strip of area. Uh, there's a lot of trees in that area, I've noticed. And then there's a train track. Now, this is an urban legend about that. And I think this train track actually goes directly over there. So I guess I stopped in the right area. And it's the basic story of, oh, if you park there, uh, children will push your car off of the tracks because apparently a school bus got hit over there. And I don't know if I really believe that because I've heard that story about a million times about millions of roads that have train tracks that go over them that have a little hump. So yeah, Munger Road, that's apparently haunted over there. So that's a little addition. That giant tower right there, that's Elgin Tower Building. And that building is apparently haunted by, um, not quite sure. You know, it's, it's rumors and stories that I've heard from people and seen online about that building in particular. Now that building was built in 1929 and its original purpose was to be a bank. Now you're probably thinking, okay, that's a large bank for no reason. And you're right, I, I do I do think that is a little ridiculous of a size for a bank in Elgin of all places. But it was a bank until I think the 50s or 60s when it closed down and then it became a couple other things and it got renovated in the 90s and is now apartment buildings. And I actually know someone that lives in those apartment buildings and they've said that the building's haunted. They've told me several times that it, they've experienced stuff here and there as well as in the basement area of the building. So yeah, that's the Elgin Tower building over there and uh, let's head to our next location. So the next stop on our list is the Elgin Mental Health Center. And there's no real place for me to park over there. Um, it's a bunch of like state government buildings all tracked on that side of the road and the other side of the road as well. So there's no good place for me to park, but I'll drive past it and show you guys what it looks like. So the mental health center or the asylum was originally built in the 1800s and it, they did terrible experiments on some of the patients there so much so that, um, it was obviously illegal. So it got closed down in the 70s, I believe. And then it was torn down. The Kirkbride building that they had originally built was, was uh, tore down in the 90s. And they built right over where the Kirkbride building was. And um, after the, they tore it down in the 90s. And it became a lot better after that. But there are still buildings on the property from the old building and from the old um, asylum when it used to be the asylum and not the mental health center. And apparently those are very haunted. I've heard a lot of stories. I've heard about the tunnel systems underneath it and how they're still there from the old Kirkbride building. So, you know, it's still in operation. You can't do ghost hunts here. They don't offer ghost hunts because it's still a mental hospital. Uh, drive to our next location while we're driving past it. Our next stop is the Elgin Turner's Club. And uh, I've, I don't have a whole lot of history on this one just because um, there's just not much to tell. Um, it's a it's, it's an 100 year old building and I just I can't find a whole lot on it but it's an old building um, I've heard stories from people at the haunt about this building being haunted because I know there used to be a haunted attraction inside of it but I don't know uh, like activity levels or anything like that inside of it I know they have a fish fry like every Friday or something like that um, but yeah, Elgin Turner's Club, I've heard is very haunted. But again, these are just stories that are being told to me. Don't kill me in the comments on this one. Um, especially not knowing about the history. Uh, if anybody does know about the history, please comment below what you know about it and um, maybe spark my interest a little bit on it. Let's go to the next one. So the next stop on our list is Bluff City Cemetery on Bluff City Boulevard. This cemetery is massive. 
this is probably the biggest cemetery I've ever stepped foot in. Um, we came back here a year ago, I think, a little over a year ago, to do a uh, graveyard shift here. So you can see that video, I'm gonna put it right up there, right in the card section. So yeah, this cemetery is absolutely massive. It dates back super far. There's people buried here from the Elgin Cassie Company, people buried here from the Elgin Watch Company. There's people buried here from all walks of life. And it's just, it's huge. It just keeps going, it just keeps going, it just keeps going. Well, it doesn't keep going that way because that's the road. But this cemetery is massive. And they actually do do like ghost tours here with a uh, haunted walking group. And they tell the history of all the different uh, stones here and different apparitions that you can see here. So I definitely recommend checking that out and uh, coming here for that. And we're gonna head to our next location, and I think you guys know where we're going. Our last stop on our Elgin tour, Urban Haunts, whatever you wanna call it in Elgin, is the Elgin Cast Company, or better known as Evil Intentions Haunted House. And this building is very old, and definitely the most haunted building in Elgin, in all of Elgin, I swear on it. This building is absolutely insane, packed with activity, and it, I definitely recommend coming here. But anyways, this building was originally built in 1890 as the Western Thread Company and then converted to the Elgin Casting Company in the 20s. And then it shut down in the 1980s because the Elgin Casting Company moved to Indiana and it became a haunted house at some point throughout its history. I can't exactly remember the year that it happened, but it became this haunted house and it's been here for over 10 years. Actually, this year is gonna be its 13th year running as a haunted house. Um, through its history, it's experienced a lot of a lot of bad stuff, including a cyanide spill, gang violence, asylum escapees going into the building and never coming out, and um, cult activity after it closed. Neighbors report that cult members have entered the building and they found uh, bones and whatnot inside the building as well. As a factory, you can expect that there has been some mishap and uh, accidents where employees have died and whatnot. So with that being said, this building is definitely haunted and definitely has some crazy history to it. The haunted house does offer ghost tours during the off season of the haunted house. So I've obviously done those ghost tours. I've, I've been on them and um, I definitely recommend going and doing a tour as well as checking out the haunted house because it's insane. It's probably the best haunted house you'll ever go to and it was rated America's scariest haunted house. So if you actually want to get scared of the haunted house, you need to come here, come to Evil Intentions and check this out because it's not just actors that we have in there. It is actual spirits and energy that is gonna just make you question reality. So that's the end of this episode and we're gonna we're gonna head on in there because I gotta gotta work. So if you guys can think of any locations that I didn't mention, please comment them below and I'll try to make an Elgin part two with those locations that you guys mentioned. But yeah, I gotta get inside. See you guys on the next one.